What's up, YouTube? Take two. Last video got interrupted by a phone call. Anyway, sitting here with a Viking. Uh, and Trixie. My old 77. 250, got part of a load of wood. I was teaching somebody else how to cut wood for the first time. So I didn't get a full load that round, but I got two loads sitting right there. I need to get more. Smoking some Manhattan made by Eric Morris on YouTube and Eric Smokes a Pipe on Instagram. Enjoying the last uh, few rays of the day with time change and all. It really screws with being able to do much of anything in the evening except come home and relax. That and I've been dealing with uh, some sleep issues, so I really don't feel like doing much of anything lately. Granted, being overweight doesn't help, but that's whatever, you know. I should still not feel as dead as I do, but don't mind the mess we cleaned out that shop over there and that's part of the mess that was sorted out of it to put back in but we're not quite done cleaning out the shop but uh, Vince White went out and I'm holding the phone all at the same time because my stand broke There we go. Been trying to find the right combo for this thing. This blend. Smoked it in several different pipes. And it just... Mm, I don't know. It's not a wet tobacco, but it tasted wet. I mean, it's absolutely not wet. It's... it's the guy, he gets his... Uh, he gets his blends, um, it, it's bare tobacco, and then he puts a flavoring himself, which is not a topping, a casing. You know, it's not uh, propylene glycol or whatever the other one is. He, it, it's actual seasonings from the kitchen. And this one, of course, um, if you watched my video from yesterday, which was the first one in a year, um, the last one was about... Uh, I looked after I posted the video yesterday on the giveaway. Um, it was about the Crow Valley pipe that I had received, the Devil Ants. Which has a nice color on it, by the way. But anyway, I've been trying to find the, the right pairing, you know. Um, I mean, you know how certain tobaccos taste better in certain pipes, certain shapes, certain size bowls every time I smoke a pipe it's I learn that a little more and more as I said yesterday I've been around I've been watching videos um, for a while I just been lurking haven't been doing a whole lot of uh, uh, of course I haven't put a video up but I've been doing a lot of lurking and watching Enjoying the last rays of the day. That's why it's kind of getting a little pixely and a little fuzzy right now. But I uh, figured I'd enjoy it. Um, but yeah. And I think I might have found it. It gives me the flavor and the, the heat that it needs. It's a really, really cool, it's like an overly cool smoking blend. Which, I don't know if there is such a thing. But it, you can't, it smokes so cool it almost tastes like not even flavored smoke. Because it smokes so cool. Been watching a lot of matches, videos, a lot of Northwest Piper, 
a lot of cane rod pipers videos lately. But yeah, I think I found it and I think I've already went on my pipe. Been watching how Matches smokes his pipe and how and I've been trying to catch how he loads it and I think I've got his cadence figured out because the man can go through a tin of tobacco inside of two weeks. In a full bowl inside of 30 minutes where normally it takes me 45 to an hour. And I don't even get all smoke because it goes nasty at the end. But I think I figured out his cadence. Because I tried it before and I'd fry my tongue. But I think I've got it figured out to where I can load the bowl, smoke it, and not fry my tongue. Because you can always see the air coming through his pipe. Mine, you can't. They're packed too tight. I think that was the key I was packing them way too tight. And this one's about out. I've been smoking it for about 20 minutes. Of course, it's a you know only really small bowl. There's not a whole lot on these Vikings, but anyway. So I thought I'd just pop on, say what's up, and uh, try to get back into the swing of making this videos again. Uh, can't guarantee how often I'll be on, how long there'll be space between, because it seems like with everybody, as with everybody, life tends to get in the way and life happens and but that's just what it is and i want to say happy anniversary to uh derek tant if he sees this and then also a ha happy anniversary to cisco uh it is both of their wedding anniversaries today and so happy anniversary fellas and uh, to your brides and I uh, wish you many, many, many more years. Cisco's just getting started. He's on year three. Of course, there's people that say, I'm just getting started and I'm on year 13. But um, it don't seem like I've been married 13 years. But anyway, um, uh, I guess that's about all I got for today, guys. Uh, we'll see you next round. You guys take her easy. Have a good one.